9.48 on this Saturday morning. Time now to imagine it. We have the chief scientist from the Imagination Station, Carl Nelson, here. He's getting sweet on you because Valentine's Day is right around the corner. It is, and you're starting to see lots of candy in the grocery stores. Oh, yes. And in fact, next week, we got a whole event going on at the Science Center called Scientific Sweetness, where we talk about the chemistry and some of the science behind candy. Do we want to know the chemistry? You do, actually. Let, okay. me, let me show you why. <laughs> okay, so in these containers, I've got something called an acid-base indicator. Right now, I've got uh, bottled water in there, so it's pH neutral, pH 7. Not acidic, not alkaline. Right. And we're going to test some candy. You know, you, you see these little heart things around, oh, yeah. right? Grab, grab all those. Grab a grab whole handful all of those. Them. Toss them in our first container. Okay. Let's just see what happens. Here we go. Dump them in. And if we see a color change, that's going to indicate a change in acidity level. Okay, so, so which going, direction is this traveling? Well, this is traveling acidic, and this is going to about a pH of 6. Okay. Okay? Um, so it's slightly acidic. Now, you know, there's all different brands of these kinds of candies. Right. Okay, so I got another brand here. Go ahead and toss that handful into the next one. Let's so see what that happens. that was Sweethearts. This is Brock's. And let's just see what happens here. And not a lot's going to happen. <clears throat> and the difference here is these guys add citric acid mm. to give that tart flavor. These guys don't. And you'd ask, why do we care? Well, any acidic thing you put in your mouth and you leave in for a good amount of time is going to dissolve your tooth enamel. Oh, yeah. And you can't get that back. Right. You're taking a visit to the dentist. Cavities. Okay. Um, and so, Sour Patch Kids. These are like super popular <laughs> right these days. there in the name, Sour. Go ahead and toss All those right. in. Let's just see what happens here. <laughs> now, that was about a pH 6. These guys, Ooh. we're going to drop down to maybe that red, like a pH 4. Ooh. Very, very acidic stuff. Um, so... One last one here are the Mentos, right? Mint Mentos. Give those a try. We know what happens when we put them in cola. And we're not going to do the cola thing today. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be messy. We're just going to look, and not a lot's happening there. But if you're to choose the fruit-flavored Mentos, you'd get a color change. Okay. They add that citric acid. Right. So it's just something you want to be aware of. If you're consuming a lot of this stuff for Valentine's Day or any time of the year, be aware of that. And here's our pop quiz. Oh. All right. Which, <laughs> which one do you think is more acidic, the un-cola or the cola? I would say the cola. All right. Well, let's try it. All right. So we got... Here's your uncola. I got Oop. the cola. Just okay. go ahead and toss them in there. It's got to be the citric acid, right? And yeah. Yeah. Typically, typically clear sodas are more acidic really? than these guys. Citric acid versus phosphoric acid. But in the end, they're both acidic enough to cause that enamel decay. So okay. you definitely want to um, be careful of that. I put a link on our website of a report that was done about tooth decay all based upon acidity of candies and sodas. It's really interesting. All right. So <laughs> we'll keep that in mind yeah. when you're out buying those candies for your loved ones. Imagination Station is open <laughs> from Tuesday to Saturday, 10 to 5. You're open on Sunday, tomorrow from noon to 5. And, and uh, today, already open. We are. Just and about. Lucas County residents 12 and under get in free today. Uh, with a paid adult admission, and we have dinosaurs. Oh, yeah, the dinosaurs. So don't forget the dinosaurs. All right, the guitars are coming. The guitars are coming soon. All right, thanks yes. very much. Carl Nelson, that's this week's Imagine It. Let's turn it now over to Dave with sports.